So I have a growing number of problems in my server rack right now, and uh, figured I'd address them from top to bottom. So, I need more 10 gig ports. I only have four, and uh, these poor cables probably don't like the bend they're being subjected to, but I want to add additional 10 gig connectivity to my desktop so I can do video editing off the NAS. And I have other 10 gig switches sitting around. I just need to pick one to replace this with. This doesn't really belong in my rack. I got it put in there for testing purposes. Then one of the nodes died and I got mad and just kind of said whatever. <laughs> um, I might actually replace this uh, rack shelf, as I call it, uh -oh. with uh, something else. I think, let's see, there we go. I think I might use a uh, Dell server rack uh, as a rack shelf instead of this here. Let's see if we can get it back in with one hand. There we go. Uh, my primary server, everything works fine, but I'm kind of running out of storage. Plus this doesn't have the ability to saturate 10 gig, so kind of more of a want than a need. I think I could probably get away with editing off the NAS at 4 I think 4 gigabit is what the uh, cluster of SSDs can handle. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm operating, so might as well have fun and go all out. Uh, nothing wrong with this server, actually, because uh, this R720 is literally just a glorified uh, NAS. It doesn't really do anything useful other than uh, backups. It is running out of space, though. This is just my test bench server yeah, and this is the wacky custom build one I made where I put PC parts into it to uh, do backups now that I know how to cross flash rain controllers which I'm kind of embarrassed because I didn't realize how easy it was <laughs> I might replace this with a 12 bay R510 because I already own a 12 bay R510 and I think it would just be better don't know what I'll do with this in, in the process of that though, so it's kind of funny how everything's kind of in a state of flux. But if I do go to a 12 bay R510, I'll probably fill that full of 2 terabyte drives and then use that as a cold storage backup, which means it'll never, uh, basically never be on, other than for backup purposes. In the world of battery backups, I'm having other issues because this one was acting goofy. I don't know what its deal was, but it was blinking and beeping and clicking and whatever, so I unplugged it and put everything onto this one. Well, I was unloading, uh, overloading this one, trying to run all my servers off of it and everything, so it was flipping out. Uh, luckily, this had been sitting for a while, and whatever was wrong with it kind of resolved itself. I think it uh, does need new batteries, but the batteries should be fine. I don't know. It's just upset because... Uh, up replacement cycles. This, the batteries are probably shot now that I paid lots of money for it to put brand new batteries in it, but it's 208 only, so I can't use it here because I have 240 volt. Um, so, don't know what to do about that. Really what I'd like to do is replace all of these with a single 240 volt compatible battery backup, but I don't have the budget for that, and it's more of a, it would be really nice to have, like really, really nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I don't want to spend two grand on a battery backup when I could spend two grand on more servers. <laughs> um, and that kind of comes to the back where I am currently using this 240 volt PDU. I'd really like to get to the point where I had a PDU on each side and then I could designate which side is which uh, feed, even though I only have a single 240 volt feed in here. but. I'd like to do one one of these on uh, battery backup and one not, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. Uh, it'd be really nice to have color-coded cables, but that costs money and I don't have the budget for that unless I can find someone who wants to sponsor it. <laughs> but yeah, I need to rearrange, re clean up all this stuff. I want to put all the switches on the back like these, although the problem is 
these switches are front to back cooling and not back to front so a lot of the hot air gets exhausted out the back and towards the front I want to put the switches down towards the middle that way it's short runs to anything and everything so yeah but I have another project I have to do before I can even think about getting towards changing anything in the rack Ah, so, <laughs> that was my remote backup. That's supposed to be at home, but I had issues with uh, connectivity once I switched my, my main server with the NAS to 10 gig, and it can't, can, can't communicate over the VPN, so it's just been kind of dead in the water. I did try taking it back and configuring it to do backups here, but... Uh, TrueNAS, something got screwed up, and I don't know how to fix it, so it's easier just to rebuild. This was my old cold storage box before I built that Dell abomination. Um, this and this, I'm going to kind of play musical parts. I finally broke down and learned how to cross-flash, which is embarrassingly easy. I believe I said earlier in the video. <laughs> so this, in theory, is cross-flash in IT mode now. So I'm going to fill this full of two terabyte drives with um, probably a RAID Z2. 12 terabytes should be enough space. Um, and then what this server is going to do is I'm going to make this something I back up my VMs to temporarily. Because it's the only box that has that's going to have free space. So I'm going to have to figure out how to set up an I iSCSI target and then send the uh, VMs to this TrueNAS box. And I might potentially try backing up my uh, files to this as well. This would be backup number three of all my files. And then I'm going to use, and grab this and lo lost train of thought. I'm going to use this so I have 10 gig connectivity. But um, yeah, this is just temporary because I need something to back everything up onto before I move my drives over to my R730 XD. In theory, I should be able to just move the drives over from the R730 XD to the, or from the R720 to the R730 XD, which will take me from a Perk H710 to a Perk H730. Um, and I, if I understand correctly, the, uh, Rate controller just should should just ask me, hey, you know, this, I see a, I see these drives were configured in a way. Do you want to import that config? Oh, foreign config. That's what it is. Yeah, but I need to play musical garbage. I'm gonna put all the two terabyte drives from there into here, along plus a couple extras, and then uh, yeah, hopefully I can get started on backing up my VMs. Well. Uh, had an interesting problem. This motherboard would not play nice with my Intel X520 network card I wanted to use. It would just uh, power cycle non-stop. So, too lazy to figure that out. So, I'm going to live with gigabit. I am, however, working on installing TrueNAS Scale, which I'm hoping I don't regret. This is going to be my chance to play a scale and see how I like it for a, an additional project I need to work on. But... I saw the drives, uh, the uh, two terabyte drives. I actually recognized uh, the old pool, but I might have to get rid of that because it's useless to me. And uh, yeah, I'll reformat that. So yeah, let's see what happens. I'm hopeful. I mean, it's uh, scooting along. So uh, yeah, the interesting part will be backing up my VMs to an iSCSI target. It's gonna take a while because I only have gonna have gigabit in this, but um, yeah, I'm gonna start with the VMs I'm not actively using right now because the other problem is, is my understanding is you cannot back up VMs in ESXi while they're running without like taking a snapshot first, so I don't have time for that. I'm just gonna back up the ones that aren't booted, kill the ones that are booted once those are. The, the dead ones are done backing up and then kind of go from there. <clears throat> also, 
I do need to make a, a video on this. Uh, all right, 20 a.m. I, uh, I fixed all the issues, but haven't had time to make a video. So hopefully that'll get there eventually. But uh, oh, hopefully this is the start of good things to come. I need to get my server rack back under control. So hopefully that's interesting, and thanks for watching.